So by this point, if you've been playtesting Super Heavy Samurai or you just know about the meta in general, you'd know that Drill and Lockbird is a pretty big deal right now. It's basically the best answer for Super Heavy Samurai in your opening five cards, and it can significantly reduce the strength of the end board for Super Heavy Samurai. Even though you won't be able to draw it every hand, Super Heavy Samurai players will have to always take the consideration of what if my opponent has to droll in some situations compared to others. Droll is going to be the best thing that they could possibly open against you. It's sort of like cast your and playing into the nib, right? Because usually Super Heavy doesn't have to worry about the nib. The nib is usually ineffective against them because they build up a pendulum scale and they already have the soul piercer either in hand or grave to be revived by a scarecrow. Droll is honestly the best way to hit Super Heavy Samurai. Now, if you watched my last video where we had the Super Heavy Samurai mirror match. We were both playing around Troll. My opponent opened Troll three times and I lost the first match where both rounds he opened Troll and I won the second match where one of the rounds he opened Troll and it just is a really effective card at stopping Super Heavy Samurai. Today I wanted to take some time to uh, show you how you can play against Troll and Lockbird. We have three combos here straight from the spec sheet. Combo number one, basically this video is going to show you why you might want to play three soul peacemaker because no matter how you think about it soul peacemaker is the only way you really play around droll because soul peacemaker is the only way you can get rid of your scarecrow without having multiple searches right because if you could just search tunneler then tunneler can sort of play that role but most of the times tunneler is a one out of 40 and in most lists that I'm seeing now, including the list that top the online case tourney, I'm seeing a lot of people only on one soul peacemaker. But this is the best in-engine way to play around Troll and Lockbird, so let's uh, let this man cook, right? Basically, the idea here is that before you even get a search off, you make a Borload Savage so that you can, in the same chain, summon Borload activate soul piercer and activate prodigy wakashi for one that you can chain block your soul piercer from an ash blossom or anything of that nature or even a ghost spell for your bore load in case you know they play it you can get your search and droll and lockbird doesn't immediately respond to something like soul piercer so it would start a new chain if they wanted to play droll and they would have to activate the droll once scarecrow is already live once bore load Equip a Scarecrow is already live. So basically the idea here is that you summon Prodigy Wakashi from the deck with uh, the Soul Peacemaker by tributing the Scarecrow. And you go from a, I just need to watch this again so I can absorb what's really going on here. So you go into Scarecrow without using Piercer effect. You bring back Piercer. And basically you're doing this to get a second body on for on, on field for you to summon the prodigy wakashi you make bore load and you do all those plays at the same time so that now that you have bore load you can keep going with your big benke with your bike and you can be completely protected from either a nib or a um, drone Lockbird as you go into and start your combos. He's even playing General Coral in this one, which to be honest is completely unnecessary. You could just search a second Wakashi and just activate it. But, you know, um, just for the sake of sticking to the combo, you could play General Coral. If you're playing the FTK build, you could search it. But if you're just playing hand loop or you're just playing a regular build of Super Heavy Samurai, you could search Prodigy Wakashi, right? And now he, he's gonna keep going because uh, he, he's, he's gonna want to show you all the possible, you know, things you can do. And even on a situation where you have to sort of use some of your effects early, like your Wakashi effect early, you still end on three negates here, assuming that they decided to save their nib, they will still have six cards in hand, but you will have follow-up with uh, scales. You still have genius here. 
I'm pretty sure there was a way that you could have made like an Appalooza because if you make an Appalooza with this board, like with multiple Omni Negates plus an Apo, that's like pretty solid. It's really up to you how you want to go about making this happen. And yeah, but this is the best that we can play around a Droll and Lockbird. If we open a Soul Piercer plus Soul Peacemaker. Now, this time we're gonna have Peacemaker plus a bike. Now, we're normal summoning bike here. And the one thing about bike is that they should not be Droll and Lockbirding you off of bike. And the reason why is because there's always the threat of Gamma. So the Droll player has to understand that Gamma exists and every super he super heavy player is on it. Why take the risk in Droll and Lockbirding the bike when you can Droll the second activation after the bike, the second search after the bike and be nearly as effective as Droll and Lockbirding the first thing. A safer play for a very similar reward. So yes, like in theory, if you open bike, you should discard it. But if let's say that this bike is your only super, like let's say you open these two and completely non-engine, then in maybe in that regard, if you don't, if you have no piercer, no follow-up play to the bike, then I'd say this combo might just be the better way to go about starting your turn. So let's continue. So he goes for Scarecrow, he brings back the bike, he tributes, he makes bike level four, and this combo does lose to Ash because you know you do have to soul peacemaker successfully but if that does happen then you're good and you end up with warload plus a wakashi so that's just full combo even though you've already resolved scarecrow but you get to at, at the very least make excel starters here and go into baron now that's only two negates but again this is a way weaker version of the combo compared to what you could do normally this is if you are completely sure that they're playing draw and lockbird and you want to find a way around it still not as strong as literally just if you open gamma or if you open bike i'd say just shotgun it but if you open nothing but non-engine and specifically bike and pure and soul peacemaker this might be the best play for you and our final combo is with Wagon and Soul Peacemaker. Again, we're not doing any searches. So we're making the Bore Load and then we Wakashi effect to get Benkei, to get Gaia Booster, Gaia Booster here. And they go for Dweller. It's kind of interesting. They don't go for Girgigant or attempt to set up anything, which I think is kind of weird. I don't see why they would go for Abyss Dweller, but maybe they just want to showcase that you played around the Droll. Now you have two level fours that you can do things with. Hopefully you could find a way to make some magic happen, right? Like Ethereon might be the best way to proceed. The fact that you have wagon here and you still haven't used re resolved its effect is another thing droll is a really scary and effective card against super heavy samurai for the reason that we cannot play called by the grave we can't really do much before they resolve droll if you want to full combo or if you want to fdk or, or if you want to hand loop and so i don't think that the research on how to play around Droll is done yet because these combos are good. I think this first one was the best showcase on how to properly play around Droll. If you open Piercer plus a Peacemaker, I think that's the best opening that you can make that you can have for the deck. But ending on two, three negates instead of like this multi negate board. And also there are two other cards in hand, right? Like this one ends on scale plus two. This one ends on two other cards in hand. So there is a chance that, you know, once you set up your pendulum scale, you'd be able to extend more with other cards, but ultimately there are ways to play around Droll other than always having your first search be Peacemaker if you don't already have it in hand. You Super Heavy Samurai players, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Is three negates enough for you guys? Do you think because the deck loses to Dark Ruler anyway, should you be playing Hand Loop to play around those going second cards? Or do you think like two three negate boards is strong enough to contend in the meta. You guys let me know what you think, put it down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.